Remembering one of rock music's most bombastic stars, welcome to Entertainment Tonight. You know, Meatloaf sold over 100 million albums worldwide, but he was also an actor, husband, and father whose legacy is still making noise for all to hear. I'll give you everything I have. If I'm on stage, it's 110%. And when I die, I know that everything I've ever done has been full out. I swore I would love you till the end of time. This was Meatloaf's last public performance. It was in March of last year, and his good friend, country star John Rich, was at his side. I mean, you talk about one of the greatest entertainers of all time. I actually took him down uh, to my bar downtown in Nashville. I had my band come in and play Meatloaf songs to Meatloaf. How did he react to that? He cried. Really? He cried. He was a crier. The 74-year-old passed away with his wife, Deborah, by his side. And in the final 24 hours, his daughters, Pearl and Amanda, held vigil. According to one report, he had been sick with COVID-19. In 2016, Meatloaf collapsed at a concert in Canada due to dehydration, and he had a long history of back problems. I fell off the stage in Dallas, and I was in the hospital for 31 days. And uh, I've had four back surgeries. I'm just one of those kind of guys, you know, rough and tumble kind of Texas boy. E.T. spent a lot of time with the rock star over the last 35 years. Hi, kids, how are you? We're in the Region Hotel in London, England. Where are you? <laughs> In 1993, he took us on tour with him. And in his last E.T. interview, the singer, whose real name is Marvin Lee Ade, explained how he got his nickname. That came in the eighth grade, playing football in junior high school, and I stepped on the coach's foot, and he screamed, get off my foot, you hunk of meatloaf. <laughs> That man will never be duplicated, never be replicated. He came on my show called The Pursuit, which is about people that pursue happiness in America. Think wow. about this guy's story. A guy that never gave up. You know, he was still working on a new record at 74 years old. Meatloaf also starred in more than 60 movies, including wow. Wayne's World. Party on. And Fight Club. First rule is, I'm not supposed to talk about it. The film's incredible. It's the third time I've seen it, and it gets better every time. What am I happen to Saturday night? Of course, his biggest role was playing Eddie in 1975's The Rocky Horror Picture Show alongside Tim Curry. They first met starring in the play. Tim Curry came in, and I'm looking, and I'm going, what kind of show am I in? But I thought the, the music was real roots of rock and roll. I was real happy with it. Cut to 2016, Adam Lambert took over Meatloaf's role on Fox's Reimagining. Whatever happened to Saturday night? Adam, you were fantastic. He actually went on record and said some really nice stuff about me, and I'd love to kind of say thank you. Today, the Idol alum tweeted, you were so kind, your music will always be iconic. I'm sure you're singing concerts in the great beyond. It never felt so good, it never felt so Two years after Rocky Horror, Meatloaf released Bat Out of Hell, which was his first solo album and became his biggest selling record ever. I can see Got a text at 2.40 this morning. And you, all these things just flood back. Today, we spoke with his Paradise by the Dashboard Light collaborator, Ellen Foley. What do you remember the most about recording that song? I guess the way we did it. I dragged him into the room and made him stand there, so I sang it eye to eye with him. And I did it once, and that was a one take wonder. 60 million records later have been sold. Is there something that his fans, the audience, might be surprised to learn? He was very lonely. He had a separation anxiety, you know, because his mother died young and needed a lot of love and uh, certainly got it from his fans. In 2019, Bat Out of Hell became a Broadway show, and E.T. was exclusively there as Meatloaf surprised a packed theater, loving every minute of it. I cried, and I, I, I know these songs really well. I cried three times tonight. 
The reviews were stellar, but ever modest, Meatloaf never tried to take the spotlight. I won't do that. I'm not a star, I'm not a celebrity, I'm not a legend, and I'm not an icon. And I will never let anybody call me that. It's Meatloaf and his unbelievable band, the best band in the world, are going to be in your town. We'll be there till the 